Where is Francine headed right now as we speak? I want to ask meteorologist Jeff Ray for the latest track. Well, it's now that it's a hurricane, it's really starting to gather its strength and starting to really go with, with force and direction towards Louisiana. So it is becoming a little bit more predictable. The only question now is how much stronger it will get through the course of the day tomorrow. So let me show you this full screen. You can see Hurricane Francine, now Hurricane Francine, 75 mile per hour wind. So right there at the threshold of a category one hurricane. Now it has really kind of bubbled up this afternoon. This was uh, something that was forecast at the end of the day yesterday into the evening. Instead, it waited another 24 hours before all these towers started to lift up and we started to see a closed an eye starting to close around the storm. And now here through the overnight hours, we'll be watching it carefully to see if it continues to strengthen. The forecast is for it to become a category or to stay a category one hurricane, I should say, with 90 mile per hour winds come on shore in Louisiana sometime in the late afternoon. So we are less than 24 hours away from a hurricane striking the United States. As it goes up into Mississippi, Tennessee Valley, it's going to become a flood risk as it quickly weakens. But along the shoreline and New Orleans, there's going to be a significant storm. Everything in green and yellow yellow here. These are hurricane force winds, even force two with uh, 95 mile per hour winds, a category two in some areas with the gusts. And you can see how it closes in on the shoreline in Louisiana there at the Delta. It looks like New Orleans will suffer winds that are going to be close to 70 mile per hour. Now, as it spins up, it's going to start creating this wave formation. So up to 30 foot waves are going to form on the east side of the wall and that was what comes on shore, part of the storm surge problem. The whole ocean rises about six to eight feet in some areas, and you can see the favored areas right now for the worst of the surge. Louisiana will be protected by the shoreline from this, but for us, we're talking about small rain chances. Okay, this is tomorrow, and this is 10 to 20 percent chance for the Metroplex. Better as you go off to the east, as you would expect. But first alert, future cast shows some rain across the Metroplex in the afternoon tomorrow, and there it is across the evening, still around before it dies out without the daytime heating. Funny, I should mention that Thursday doesn't look completely dry, but I put in about a 10% chance of rain. It doesn't look like there's going to be much rain for us. As you can see, there's forecast models are kicking out maybe a third of an inch in some areas. Now, after that, the other thing I really need to let you know is how nice it was last weekend. It's not going to be like that this weekend. The summer is back. In fact, we'll be 90. Five on Friday, 97 on Saturday, 96 on Sunday, and it's going to be humid starting tomorrow, and it's going to be humid across the weekend. The feel like temperatures are going to be in the triple digits both days this coming weekend. Plan De accordingly. Yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. Jeff, thank you.